Hi guys, I just wanted to let you know that I have a new Facebook group and I will link it right here so you can go check that out. All you have to do is go to the search box in Facebook, type in uh, Zen Artists Gather Here and you can join my drawing group if you're interested. Hi guys, this is the first time that I'll be recording this device. I really hope this comes out. Anyways, I wanted to just show, I've had a lot of questions how I made this butterfly and I thought I would show how I did it. So let's get started here. I used a die cut and I'll list everything that I used in the description box below. And please check out my Amazon link because it helps support the channel and I can make more videos like this. So the die cut that I used is this really pretty butterfly die cut. And how I created this Zen tangle for this drawing is uh, I used like the leftover, it made almost like a stencil. See like that? As you can tell, I've used this one. And you can use, it's just a piece of, and then you can use it for other things like what it's intended to. You can make butterflies or whatever. It's really pretty die cut. If you um, have a die cut machine, you might wanna check out that butterfly. It's so beautiful by Tim Holtz. And what I did was I just took my paper and laid it down like this and let me get my supplies it's right here I don't want to shake the camera and I used my handy dandy distress inks anybody who's been following my channel knows I love love distress inks so as you can tell I have a ton of beautiful colors and I picked some colors that I you know thought would go good you know um, like I would grab you know maybe three different colors I'm just gonna grab one for the sake of the video and I like to put my little individual foam dauber I think they're called I'll link it in the I might even link in the comment section if it's easier for you guys too so you can check out these supplies especially since we're on quarantine you can't go to the store anyway so if you go to Amazon that would help me out so what I do is I just take my distress ink and I pounce it and then I just hold it down. I don't even tape it down and I blend, blend, blend. And then I, I grab another color and blend and they blend so beautifully together. You probably could tape it down, it would probably help. But as you can see, I mean, I did a couple of these. I I had no mistakes. It uh, As long as you are very um, hold it very still, no problem. You really don't, I don't tape them down. <clears throat> So after that, what I do is I just do my Zentangle all around. And then the cool part about this is that I'm so used to shading everything, this worked up really quickly because I decided not to shade, but to only shade the butterfly to make it appear like it's kind of sitting on top. And so what I did was, is I really took my time shading in between all of that. Then I came back and I shaded even some more. And just a HB pencil would suffice and a blending stump or doodle sticks. I love to shade with doodle sticks. And that's what I did with this because I, I don't have a blending stump right now and I can't get to Michael's or anything and I haven't ordered anything. So you can just shade with the doodle sticks like this and blend the graphite out. I love doodle sticks because you, they never get old. Like, um, I have a lot of videos on these, and I really recommend them. I'll put a link to them in the description box below as well, if I remember. So that's all I did for that. And like I said, I this right here, this butterfly, is just gorgeous. You're not going to find this in the stores. I believe it's retired. But they do have it on Amazon, so check it out. And I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please hit that like button. Leave me a comment um, or whatever. And thanks for stopping by. Talk to you in the next video. Bye.